Hello there my dear YouTube friends. Let's learn today on how to make class morphism UI. So class morphism is basically the one of the trendiest UI design uh, in the latest year, in the coming latest year, for example 2020 and 2021. So class morphism is basically is basically a glass it's being used as a design for your for your for your multi purposes like for example websites for your app for your web app and all of these stuff so so glass morphisms is indeed a high demand uh, design where every uh, designer who would consider themselves as a good designer should know on how to use how to create glass morphism ui so in this tutorial i'll be teaching guys on how to create uh, glass morphism ui in photoshop and as you and uh, for your info you can use other softwares as well for example adobe uh, xd adobe illustration and all of those uh, software work well with with uh, like this glass morphism ui and as well as other free uh, platforms like figma and and yeah most of that so figma is even easier and it's free you can use that you can try that one also so let's uh move on to our tutorial today so this is how it, it should look like the the ui the final product will be so first of all let's go and create a new file and it doesn't matter what uh, size it is because we're just learning and i'm just teaching you guys on how to do it so first and foremost we need to have a good background not have a good background we need like we need to go and create a new layer first of all and then layer Okay, press OK, and then I would like to choose black as uh, my black. I mean my layer, new layer. So I like to press Alt and Backspace. So that's how you get a, a black background. And as you can see here, the layer one is your background. So next up, let's go and create a detailed stuff on your background. In this thing, I like to create circle and a circle with with some bright color for example let's go ahead and create blue so bright i mean blue is a bright color which works well in terms of uh, producing a vibrant kind of a result next up let's go and create another circle and i would like to color it in red because red is a uh, kind of a bright color as well okay Okay, that's not, that's kind of pinkish red and that's still okay this as long as we need a good color bright and very decent color and this is how the background is so next up let's get deeper into the glass on how does the glass work so glass is a medium which has high uh, density so when it ha when it has high density it, when it, when light passes through it it it, it refracts right yeah so when it refracts the it it gets the when the light get refracts the detail which which like we when we're able to we can't see the detail through the glass because it might be a transparent glass or a less transparent translucent glass. So in this in this tutorial I'll be teaching you guys on how to create a less transparent and a translucent glass. So let's go ahead and create the glass layout first. I would like to have the glass to be like a card, like your debit card or your credit card. So in order to have a debit card, it, it has to be a rectangle, right? And a rectangle with rounded edges, rounded corners, by the way. So go ahead and press this uh, rounded rectangle tool here. So wait a moment. Okay, so let's create a rectangle, a decent looking rectangle like this. Okay, and then make sure your you have chosen your option as your path, and then make it a selection. Okay, so let's keep it keep this as our uh, like a layer. Go ahead and press it, like a new layer, and make it white. It's just just for the sake of keeping it aside. So because we'll be using it. So this is the glass, the, how the glass want it to be. 
Wait a minute, let's go and adjust the position of it. Okay, so this is the glass, the glass of it. So right now, in order to make this look as a glass, we must have a proper background. Uh, I mean, the, 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 how does the background will look through this glass. So it has to be a blurish kind of a appearance, right? So go ahead and let's, let's off this for a while and duplicate the background. So we have a copy of it. So duplicating by pressing Ctrl and J at the same time. So um, this is the layer of the background which we wanted to look blurish. So go ahead and go to filter, press blur and Gaussian blur. And yeah, the radius should be 20, which works well. And just make it 20. Press OK. And this is how your background will look through the glass. So let's go ahead and select this glass by pressing Ctrl and right click. So this is the layout of your glass, which you wanted, which you intended to make it. So right now, what you're gonna do? Just go ahead, go ahead and select inverse then press control X okay right now as you can see here there's only the blurish kind of look is left while the other side is, is not blur so this is your basically this is your class this is your class already and then what we want is to make it look more like a proper realistic class. So in order to do that, let's go and double click the layer copy one. And the glass would would look realistic with stroke. Let's go ahead and add a stroke and the color should be white. As you can see here, this is the outer line of the glass. So the white works well as a for any glass. Then let's decrease the opacity to let's say 20 yeah yeah 20 would do and then the size is yeah 3 is, three is good or let's give it like 2 or 2 yeah yeah I would say 2 is fine also okay press okay right now you have a glass which is seems kind of realistic kind of looking glass and yeah it's kind of cool by the way so let's go ahead and make it look like a, a bank card for example a bank card requires the name of the bank and the code I mean the pin number for example let's go and type type some any random four digit numbers four times There you go. This is the bank uh, number, pin number. Then let's state what bank is it. Let's say uh, American American bank, and then let's put it aside. Like this. So this is how. I hope you guys get the idea on how does the glass morphism, uh, the idea of it. So basically it's just the glass, a blurry version of the background and just need to add a good, a decent looking stroke. And yeah, that's all you have. Now right now you already have a glass, like like a realistic, kind of kind of realistic kind of looking kind of glass, which is, which is already good enough to be used in your UI designs. So thank you guys for watching this tutorial video and hope I will meet you guys in the next upcoming video. So yeah, thank you guys. See you next time.